Hello everybody and welcome to another video of mine. Now this video is going to be a bit different and a lot shorter because I'm only going to talk about the project that I'm doing. I don't even have a get up about uh, the Arduino upload but at the end of the video I'll uh, show some pictures of uh, what the program is. Main reason why I don't have a get up on this project yet is because one it's not finished and two it's actually still a bit in Dutch. So I'm sorry for the people who don't know Arduino code. If you do know it, then you know the only words I use Dutch with is like a little slash slash or to name something. So nothing too hard. But like I said, this isn't finished yet, but it still perfectly works. Now this is a game controller I've been working on. I've actually got this idea by Benji Jart. I probably butchered this name, but I'll just put a link to his video in the description below. I actually wanted to do this because I kind of like gaming, of course, and I thought like, hey, I want to make my own game controller, so I looked it up. Nobody did it as expansive as I did, or like, as with as many buttons as I did until now. Either one, the controller is made for robots only and it couldn't be used on a PC directly. Or two, it could be used on a PC, but it didn't have all the functions, like all the arrow buttons, starting that, and uh, blah blah blah. So, how did I get over some hurdles, you might ask? Because what I used was an Arduino Micro. Well, why do I use a Micro? First of all, a micro has an HID interface. You need an HID interface to just communicate with your computer, else you're working via a serial base. That is a possible way as well, but you need to actually reprogram your USB interface chip for that, and uh, you might actually break your Arduino like that. So, not recommended in my opinion, but if you feel like it, go ahead. So, you use a micro, then of course you don't have enough digital inputs. So what I did was actually combine some digital inputs by making voltage dividers. These three, by example, actually all have a different voltage and if you press 2 or 3 and blah blah blah, it uh, corresponds to pressing different buttons. The library I used to make this is the joystick library, of course. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. And yeah, I was actually very glad about this because this already fully works. But then I actually decided, okay, this already works. Let's make a test controller out of Now I know this thing is huge. This is very much a test and this is the reason why I haven't made a git up and all that shit to po post this. Because it's not done. It's not nearly even done. Few things I have to work about is layout but mainly I actually probably gonna go back to this board. Try to get the pins actually more together, m use more voltage devices because I'm actually very happy on how these perform. But okay that's for a later date. Now this one. This one actually works. I'll uh, put some footage right now in the uh, overlay while I'll talk about this. But basically the only things that are disadvantages right now is that obviously it's way too big and the joysticks aren't as precise as I would like. But that's a problem on the joysticks themselves. Obviously I'm also only using modules. You could use direct solder on board joysticks but the problem is... Uh, this was also a school project of mine and there wasn't enough time to get the proper joysticks delivered so I just went with these modules instead but it works perfectly fine. I designed this motherboard and schematics and all shit in GLC PCB and ordered this motherboard from it as well. Unfortunately I am not sponsored by them. Everybody seems to get sponsored by them but I'm not. But actually I'm very uh, glad about their quality. It was easy to solder on, everything fitted perfectly as well. Actually no issues. So I'm very happy about their quality, I can recommend. But that's about it. Also what I did is done is a change the .h file so it went from this to this. It actually only makes your controller look cleaner on your computer, but that's about this. But yeah, that's actually pretty much about it. I know, not that exciting of a video, I know not that do the analysis, but like I said, this isn't finished yet. The next thing I'm gonna do, like I said, make those faulted dividers, and if that works, I'll see what I can do. Maybe wireless, I don't know. But that's gonna be for a way, way, way later date, let me tell you that. Um, probably not even for in, within the same year. To when I put the next update video, but it's a good thing that I'm already telling this, uh, just to keep myself up and all that shit. I also wanted to show you this, because uh, right now there isn't a lot of information how to do this with a proper micro and make it like a full-on controller. So, what I'm gonna do now is put my schematic on the screen and put my Arduino code on the screen as well. Like I said, some parts are in Dutch, I'm very sorry, but... The program is universal, this should work if you copy it uh, word by word or letter by letter. I wanted this to be out because there isn't, like I said, not enough information on it in my opinion. And now 
other people can make a gaming controller as well if they feel like it. You can even change the layout. I just did this layout because personally, for my hands, I feel like it's the best. So, very update-ish video, I know, but thank you for watching. And also one other thing. So okay, it turns out that JLC PCB is actually really good at getting your art on your PCB. So this was an inside joke that went way too far. And I want to thank everybody who contributed to it, so shout out time I guess. Thank you to Peach V McGee, Avian Oni, Arachnid Mafia and Tollop, Steelnik, Hashtag Tomato Rising, hell yeah, Mimi Up, Football Head 2, Okami Wolven, and somebody who preferred to stay anonymous for the video, but you know who you are, and thank you anyway. So that was about it. I know, like I said, update video. But still, thank you for watching. I hope to get soon back to you about an update on this. But like I said, I don't know when the next update will be. That will be seeing how well everything goes, or how bad everything goes. We'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.